The river access impasse. Today, the San Joaquin River Conservancy Board held another meeting to move forward to get the public access to the river. Emotions ran high during the meeting as residents argued for their preferred plan. The board itself also getting emotional as the hours ticked by. CBS 47's Dennis Valera joins us live in the studio with details. Dennis. Catherine, the meeting started at 1030, wrapped just a little under a half hour ago, an hour and a half ago, and it seems residents are still nowhere close to a new way to access the San Joaquin River, with the board ending on a motion to still explore one of its options. Let's stop the meeting. Let's uh, make a motion, move forward, and if there's losses, we'll deal with that later. If not, God bless us, we can get to the river. We debated this thing for over a decade. Many on the San Joaquin River Conservancy Board expressing their frustrations as talks on new river access points continue to come to a head. Today, the board made a motion for staff to look into all required documentation for Alternative 1, the proposal that would create an access point through Riverview Drive in the Woodward Bluffs neighborhood. Many supporters saying it's the environmentally sound option. But we're also going to protect the majority of the old-growth trees that are on this 500-some-acre parcel. The other plan taking much of today's debate, Alternative 5B. This would create an access road off Palm and Nice, cutting through Spano Park. Supporters of this plan, including Fresno Mayor Lee Brand, say this would be the quicker option since it's already undergone environmental review. Also, it's already part of the city's general plan. Supporters saying looking into Alternative 1 is only adding to the timeline. A possible amendment to the uh, general, Fresno general plan. Uh, additional CEQA requirements. That's all going to take time. Now there were talks of merging both alternatives 1 and 5B or somehow have staff move forward with both plans in some capacity. Nothing was able to pan out. Live here in studio, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.